Ah, oh, what, some cricket? Bales have been removed. And uh, Jason. Jason Laney, the opening batsman there, ex-Hampshire player, scored 4,000 runs, half a dozen centuries in first-class cricket. It's a Division 2 game between St Cross, and on the toss and batting, and Basingstoke in North Hampshire. Ah, a bit of wobble there from this bowler. And the ball. Ah, Steve Hurst there. Off the mark in fine style with a lovely, lovely drive. Oh, that's a nice shot. Look at that. That's, that's what a first class cricketer can still do. Lovely. Sada said at home to uh, Dulwich today, it's kind of a must, a must win game. And I kind of figure that every time I've Every time I've had a choice about where to film, I've, I've got it wrong. So I'm hoping that once again, I'll have got it wrong. And uh, this time, Sandler said, we'll win an absolute thriller. Yeah. <clears throat> Lovely shot. Oh, what a nut. The observant among you will notice that the, the bales have been removed because of the wind. Uh, apologies for any sound interference, it's tricky conditions here. I'll just give this game a little bit of context. Uh, St Cross are on a promotion run. Four games after the season, including this one, they're lying second. So promotion is in their hands, up to Div 1 that would be. Basingstoke and North Hampshire, North Hampshire are other end of the scale. I think they're second from bottom, so they will be desperate to win to uh, try and avoid the drop. Oh, hit that. Trusty old boot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tremendous work there. He's been around the block. A solid first 10 for St Cross. And a change of bowling. Well, that's good cricket there. Just to give a little bit of a contrast with the, with the Surrey, Surrey Championship Div 2. A lot, of, a lot of sort of older players playing today. This is actually a second 11 game. Um, quite a few of these second 11 players are obviously ex first 11 players and indeed in Jason Laney we have an ex county player uh, so um, yeah uh, the accuracy of the bowling is um, is a feature and the Southern Premier League is one where there's uh, there's no distinction between second 11s and first 11s as to where you can be so this is Div 2 um, these two are actually the only two second 11 sides in Div 2, all the others are first 11 sides and uh, unlike with Surrey where there are separate leagues for first 11 and second 11 so uh, I don't think you can end up with your 1s and 2s in the same division but they could be and indeed if St Cross get promoted this season then their 1s will be in the Premier and their 2s will be in Div 1. It's a very strong club, they've got about three um, current first-class cricketers in the first 11. I'm sure someone will correct me if that's wrong. Certainly a couple. Ah, that's glorious. Slightly over-pitched, inevitable result. Uh, but sure, punished. Time for a bit of Winchester trivia. Uh, in 2006, it was voted as the best place in the UK to live. Uh, short ball and four runs. Another lovely four there. And Jason Laney. And he was just in uh, Dulwich, our 76 for 6 off 19 overs. That's a 
Pretty poor ball and put away properly. So, the uh, decision to come here was actually proven to uh, be the right thing. I'm missing, Sarno said. Uh, looks like they're going to have a bloody good chance in this one. So, go the stead. All trivia. Winchester Cathedral is the largest in Europe. Little misfield and a little single there. And that's a uh, poor shot there, but I think you wanted to get on with it. And safety snaffled. That's a 73 for one in the 20th over. Good start. Jack Middleton in at three. A final bit of Winchester trivia for you. It's also the birthplace of Captain Scarlet. Here of Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons fame. Those of you too young, look it up. Uh, others, well, how can you actually have a birthplace for a, a kid's animation character? Well, all I can say is, and why not? Yeah. Captain Scarlet used to love that. That's a lovely shot. It's Jack Middleton. What a lovely shot. Effortless. <coughs> and long think about that, and he's gone. So there we go, that's. Jason Laney out for uh, close on 40. Harry Trussler, new man in at four, and that could be out. And it is, kept a little low there. Dear, oh dear. Ah, new bat. Youngy, Dave Young off the mark straight away. From the north, apparently. One is even at drinks, I think. Ah, that's gone. So, Dan Young goes, that's four down. A bit of rebuilding here needed for St Cross, but yeah, when you get a, a loose ball, you've got to put it away. It's a teaser. And that's the that's the hundred up. It's thirty first over, four wickets down. Now the opening bowler back on is uh want a bit of spin this time. And why not? Oh, that's a nice shot. Much needed four there from Middleton, these uh, slower bowlers are just just putting the grind on a little bit here, putting the brakes on. This is good, good contest, good quality cricket. And conditions really tough. This wind is, it's uh, really is quite, quite heavy. It's a rain in the air as well. Doesn't make for high scoring free flowing cricket. It's a day to grind it out. And I've told this bowler, um, he opened the bowling, now he's bowling spin. I've told he's played a bit of minor counties or county two stuff when he was younger. And you can see that when you've got a quality action like that, repeatable quality action, then yeah, you can just keep going. Change your style. Lovely stuff. News in from Sandersted, where Dulwich are batting and they're 118 for 8. So it's an excellent effort. Come on, the Stead, you can do it. Yeah, a couple of wickets each for Johnny, Sandy, Greg. That's a nice shot. Probably just a couple. Tough going here. This is wet. Got to come off here. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a bit of rain here. Yeah. It's going to be a short shower break. Rain break over, it's 120 for four and it's a 38th over. Just having a little discussion with a couple of the some cross boys about uh, what the par score might be. Local wisdom is that ordinarily sort of 210, 220 is, is a, oh, it's a misfield, is a highly defendable total. Um, but conditions today would take 20 or 30 off that. So one, 180. Uh, 180, they'd settle for, I think. And a couple of much needed runs. In fact, it's four. Found it. We're to the final 10 overs now. Five and over will give St Cross the 180 they think might be the par score. Anything more is a bonus. Uh, I've rather stupidly moved to probably the most exposed part of the ground now and the wind is uh, pretty grim. As was that shot. Uh, anyway, that's uh, five down, 131. Dave Orchard goes, but he, he needs to, he was thinking they need to get on with it. Ooh, and that is a loose ball. But again, fields there. Come back for two. Ah. Middleton quietly moves on to 48. It's batted very well. And there we are. 50 for Middleton. Ah, they work it out eventually. Round of applause there. That was it though, he didn't get a lot, did he? Oh, that looks like it must be gone. And it is good stumping there, even though we haven't got the bales. It was uh, pretty clear to see that was that was out. So um, that feels goes. Okay, so this is Matt Howarth in at number eight. It's 148 for six, and he's uh, oh, hit one out to deep cover to get off the mark straight away. Yeah, Middleton marches on. It's paid well today. Watchful. And that's going to be out. And it is. Tremendous. Tremendous little diving catch there from the opening bowler. How he goes. That's 149 for seven. James Allen in at nine and uh, yeah, just been told that the uh, the chap there, the opening bowler, Chris Challoner, his name is, otherwise known as Tugboat, and um, yeah, he has played a bit of bit of semi-pro cricket in his time. It's like an excellent cricketer. And what a fine catch that was! Mm. Gets up to cruising speed, and it's a couple of runs. That's across probably 30 light of what's needed, but there's seven overs left, three wickets in hand. Ooh. And this wind, not easy, not easy for anyone. Oh, well hit. Well fielded there. Ah, it's put through the gap. Should be another couple, and it is. Ah, oh, that's beautifully hit. Middleton marches on. Well, final five overs. That's 200 in sight. Well hit, they go for the one, and he makes it. That's a nice drive. Long grass is going to hold that up though. Jalen comes back for three. That's well hit. They're going to get two here. And uh, 
News in from Sandersted. Dulwich were all out for 167. Uh, and I think the last over. So uh, 168 to win for Sandersted. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's a lovely shot. No ball and another fine shot. And another four. Oh, runs coming thick and fast here. Ah, another booming drive for Middleton. So it's the 180 sorted out, 184 for seven. It's the 47th over. Howie, what do you think? I reckon 210. Yeah, I think 210. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we were looking at 180 as par score, but. Yeah, it's gonna get slower and lower. Yeah. Through spinners. Got a leggy. Shot. Well, that's a nice shot. Can tugboat stop that? I'm sure he will. <laughs> Oh that's, oh, that's not tugboat. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> oh, that's good too. Well run two. Oh, he's gone for the, he's gone for the monster. That's a huge, huge hit. Three overs left. Could be two. Yeah, it will be. Easy two. Well, that was a slow ball. Come back for another two. Easy two. 207 for seven, final over. Swing and a miss. More good running from James. Uh, that's going to be another two, I think. Into the big gap here. Easy two. Oh, that's snicked away. That's four. Oh, St. Cross Codgers down there, fielding that one. Fabulous. That's hit away. It's going to be, oh, he's let that one go through him. But two runs. Well, there we go. That's 218 for seven. Off the 50 overs, Jack Middleton, a fantastic 91. Jalen a little cameo 24 at the end there, as it does so often. Yeah, well batted. Very well batted. Came in at three, stayed there throughout. Super stuff. Well bowled there, Basingstoke in North Hampshire. Not easy. We're going to have some tea now. Well done, the umps. Jake Nichols opening the bowling for St. Cross as Basingstoke and North Hampshire aim to knock off 219 to win in 50 overs. Matt Howarth opening the bowling. Oh, a little bit of shape there. Oh, the bales are off now. The wind uh, isn't dying down. It's 18 for none, it's a seventh over, and a bit of spin comes into the attack. And why not? Rolling. Oh, bowl. A bit of extra pace here from Howie. Ah, that's typical ball of these early exchanges, not a lot happening. Good, tight, line and length bowling. Keeping it simple. And there's the snick. And uh, four runs. That's over the top. Oh, it's gone away for four. And uh, that's a short ball. That's put away for four. 
Oh, what about old? That's the first 10. Ah, on this evening, I think. Good tight stuff. That's going to be a couple there. Bit of excitement. There hasn't been a lot. But of course, one of the great things about Sunless CCTV is that we uh, spare you all the boring bits and hopefully, oh, hopefully bring you bring you just the good stuff. Oh, rest for Howie and spin at both ends now. Bit of leg spin there. Not a great ball, but that's the loosener. Alex Woolvine, the bowler, woolly. And leg spinner. Let's put over the top, and that's uh, one bounce for four. Great work there, great work, and that's uh, that's out. Well, that's an absolutely magnificent bit of fielding from both. Uh, oh. The fielder there, Hursty, and the keeper, Rob Hadfield. Absolutely fantastic. That time something happened. 53 for one, it's the 15th over. That's a good shot, another loose ball. Another four runs. And another loose one. This time it's straight to the man. About 59 for one it is, it's uh, the 18th over. Picks off, four runs. There we go, oh, Basis State laying a bit of a platform here and I think St Cross need a wicket. That said, it's uh, sort of wides and a few loose balls that they're scoring off, not really forcing the pace. Whatever, it's a fascinating battle. And there's another loose one. That's uh, it's a big six. That's only the second six of the game. Yeah, that's better bowling. So, Captain Dave Orchard on. He's uh, a fairly metronomically accurate bowler. Needs to um, needs to get a bit, a little bit of control back. I think the tactics here are to uh, leave himself and Jalen for 20 of these uh, remaining 28 overs and put the squeeze on. But hey, what do I know? And there we go. There we go. So, well, the pan's working. Excellent, that's uh, 84 for two now, it's the 23rd over. Much needed. Oh, good solid innings there from the opener, 34, but uh, the wicket of course means that Basin Stoke have got to start all over again really. Jalen into the attack now, I think quite often bowls in tandem with Skipper, Orchard. Give a bit of control to the situation. Oh, that's got to be a close, and it is, it's out. Full straight, yeah, that's um, double change, got two wickets. That's 85 for three, now it's a 24th over. Okay, drinks over, back to this uh, quality match. Good first over. Oh, that's uh, full. Was it doing too much? Oh, good shout. Oh. Oh, oh, bold. That's in the air. And it's out. Absolutely splendid catch. 
Uh, fortunately, camera work wasn't perfect, but hey ho, and hope he's all right. Seems happy enough. Come on, up you get. Well done. So that's 88 for four now. 27th over. Well, this combination of Orchard and Allen really, really changing things here with, with nothing really much more than a very good metronomic line and length. Pressure on the batsman, good fielding, um, and uh, you know, knowing that uh, you can bowl in partnerships, it's good stuff. Oh, that could be. Nope. That's another one. So that's uh, five down now, 91, it's the 28th over. Well, as the wind keeps doing its wind thing and number seven comes into bat. Oh, um, yeah, news from Sanderstead. Sanderstead 89 for seven, chasing 168. Uh, but Jacko and Zadron are still in, so anything could happen. That's a nice shot, picked up beautifully for four. Oh, and that's gone. So that's a pretty crucial wicket. That batsman's, uh, he's played a bit of Hampshire twos cricket. Uh, it's 95 for six, things happening quite quickly now. Well, Basingstoke have got it all to do now. 100 and, what's that, 123 to win, 21 overs, up against uh, Orchard and Allen. They've just picked up five wickets in in about six overs. And that's easy catch. Easy catch. That's, I think that's four now for Dave. That's uh, 98 for seven. Right. Easy. Ooh. Ball. Got a field in a bit now, a bit more aggressive as Walter and Allen have really just strangled, strangled the life out of the uh, basin soak innings. Oh, good ball. Well, Sandra said 109 for seven. Uh, so they're making a bit of a fist of that. Uh, it's a good shot, four runs. Jackson and Zadron. Um, yeah, they could be putting in place that thriller that I've driven all the way down here to create. Magnificent. That's a nice shot, just slightly short there. Four runs. That's gone straight up in the air. Oh, and he's put him down. Good effort. Yeah, hit that. Well bowl. Ooh. Four runs straight away. Uh, leggy woolly back on. Oh, that's well bowled. Well, it's 121 for nine at Sanders Head, which is uh, not what we wanted to hear. Um, but here at St Cross, 132 for seven. 12 and a half overs to go. I think it's under control. And a good seven or eight overs of uh, Orchard and Allen to come if needed. That's a good stop there. Thirsty. Yeah, that's a long off and that's uh, four runs. Matt Howarth back on. Oh, that's well bowled. Well, um, 
yeah, wasn't filming that little bit and uh, a quick signal and that was a run out. It's 140 for eight. It's the 40th over. It'll be in the bar soon. Well, one's news, uh, sadly they've lost 121. All out. We didn't get that thriller. Here we go, 76 to win off nine overs. A um, bit of evening sunshine peeking through. It's still windy, but it's calming down a little bit. And look, the bales are back on. I tell you, I'm really enjoying this. It's been a fabulous, fabulous day here in Winchester. Some good quality club cricket. That's just hit straight at Howie, and that's nine down now. This last wicket pair need uh, a very unlikely 72 to win off seven overs. But uh, yeah, a few more shots like that might be interesting. Well, the skipper's had enough. The bar's open. He's coming back on to finish this off. Beautifully bold, good bit of stumping, and that's it. I think uh, Dave picks up four wickets there. Oh, we'll find all those stats out later. Superb, excellent, excellent performance there from St Cross. Fully in control of that all the way through. Uh, well played, Basingstoke gave it a go. So St Cross, uh, well, really are looking good for promotion and Div 1 next season. I think we'll probably follow the next uh, two or three games, see what happens. Thoroughly enjoyed that. The only thing wrong with this is uh, can't go and have a pint of Pilgrim now. I don't know what they've got here. We'll find out. <laughs> 